For those of you who are taking listening and speaking, today we're going to focus on Mexican holidays. And today's task is going to be completed in our online class for today. I'm going to give you the entire class to complete this task, but I want to spend a few minutes here in this video to explain the different aspects of the task, the different steps that I would like for you to follow as you work with your team. So the first thing I would like for you to do is to go into your teams that you worked in uh, yesterday. So go into Microsoft Teams and go into the respective group or channel. And the first thing I would like for you to do once you go into the uh, channel is to begin online meeting. Make sure that you also record from the very beginning your meeting. You, we want to record every aspect of today's meeting. So after you've started the online meeting and you're recording the session, I would like for you to decide on who's going to assume the following roles. So in your team, you need to have one person who's going to be labeled the leader. The leader of the group is going to be responsible for sharing a screen. So this is probably going to be best if someone has a laptop or a desktop computer that they can share their screen with others. The leader also is in charge of promoting discussion. And if needed, they need to intervene if there is any conflict or questions about what to do next. But the idea with the team meeting, of course, is to make sure that everybody has a voice, everybody has an opinion, everybody is contributing equally throughout the process. So the leader also is in charge of making sure that everyone is participating equally. Uh, the second role is called the map creator and note taker. So the map creator, I'm referring to a mind map. So in today's activity, you're going to be asked to include a mind map. We need one person who's going to be responsible for creating the mind map. So if one of your team members happens to be uh, more artistically inclined, then maybe that person would be the best choice for creating the map. The same person also is going to be in charge of taking notes. The third role is the questioner. So one person within your team needs to be responsible for creating questions, right? So we need a questioner. And the fourth role is going to be labeled vocabulary boss, a person who's in charge of creating the keywords for this activity. Now, I know most of the teams only have three members. So in that case, I would merge the questioner and the vocabulary boss together. So in most cases, those two roles will be assumed by one person. But for those teams that have four members, then you can divide up uh, you can divide up amongst the four roles that I just mentioned. All right, so the first thing, once you have assumed the roles for each team member, is to go online and to discuss and decide on a Mexican holiday. All right, so I'm sharing with you here a Wikipedia website, Public Holidays in Mexico. I think this is a good place to start. If you scroll down, you'll see a list of a lot of different types of holidays. And uh, so just go through here and discuss which of the holidays, which of from this list, which holiday that you would like to focus on. Once you've decided on the holiday, then prepare a three to four minute introduction about the holiday. Right, so here, this is just to prepare the note taker and or the mind mapper can create an introduction, can help decide what to include in this introduction. But with the introduction, we want to include background information, some general information about the holiday, but not a lot of detail. It's just to kind of introduce the topic, and uh, you need to have key words or ideas that you could talk about for three to four minutes. Okay, so this is again just to prepare, um, perhaps even practice saying out loud three to four minutes something about the, the holiday. 
since you're only going to have three to four members in your team, each member should speak about one minute. So again, three to four minutes, depending on how many members you have in your team. The next thing you need to do is to create open questions, three open questions for your holiday that you chose. Now, open questions are, uh, first of all, let me tell you what what a, an open question is not. An open question is not a question that begins with the word what. An open question is not a question that begins with which. An open question is not a question that begins with how many. These are all considered closed questions. An open question would begin with maybe a question word like how, why. Those are probably the most common Usually the best types of open questions, a question that begins with the word how and why. Perhaps when, depending on what the answer is. Okay, so if when, a when question really only implies a date, uh, then that's not a really good question. That's a closed question, and we want more open questions. Again, how and why are probably going to be your best options. All right, now a couple of uh, things to think about when you're creating the mind map. Now, even though the mind map is being created by one person, everyone should contribute and discuss what to include in the mind map. All right, so the mind map, uh, I would recommend the person who is actually doing it. I would uh, do it either in a regular notebook. That's probably the easiest way to do it. If you do have a tablet and, and you've got a, a pen, electronic pen that you want to use, that's fine. But I think, again, the easiest would be someone who has perhaps even colored pencils to make it a little bit more attractive. But just create a mind map. Discuss it as a team, but have one person responsible for actually drafting, writing out, or creating the mind map. But in the mind map, you should include not only the questions, but, only, but also the detailed answers to those questions and the mind map should reflect those answers, right? Depending on how uh, how you want to organize those three, again, discuss it, work it out, reach a consensus as a team, and communicate that to the mind mapper who's responsible for actually drafting the mind map in his or her notebook. Once you've created the mind map. I'm going to ask you to take a picture, whoever created the mind map, to take a picture of it and upload it as an image to week seven. Now, in your folder for week seven, I would create another subfolder called Mexican Holidays. Okay, so to organize a for today's activity, we want to organize a subfolder so that we can upload our image from our mind map and the, the audio or the video, I should say, the video recording of your online session and include both of those files in a subfolder called Mexican Holidays that is inside week seven, the folder called week seven. All right, so we have our mind map. We're going to upload that. Again, making sure that the mind map includes detailed answers to the questions. Remember that the introduction should not include the answers to the questions. The introduction is just to provide some general background information about the holiday that you chose. It should not include the answers to the three questions that you are working on together as a team. All right. Uh, we want to make sure that we include in the questions the keywords. Include at least six key words. Include at least six vocabulary words in the questions, in the three questions that you are developing for this task. Right, so once you have prepared all of this information, your final task to, to complete this activity is now to present what you've been working on. And this is how I would present um, all of this information that you're working on. The first thing I would do is to include the name of the Mexican holiday. The second thing I would do is to present a three to four minute introduction 
about the Mexican holiday, making sure that each member of your team speaks for about one minute. The third thing I would do is to present the questions and the key vocabulary words, right? So again, maybe just have uh, present the three questions and then separately present at least six key vocabulary words or key terms that relate to your Mexican holiday. This final presentation should occur at the end of your meeting. And uh, again, it should be recorded. I would record the entire meeting, but this last presentation is the most important, right? So we want to make sure that we have a recording for this final presentation. If you want to separate the video recordings into maybe the first just being the planning and, and discussing and then create a separate video for the final um, for the final presentation, then that's fine also. Okay, you can do that, but at least make sure that you know everything is uh, being recorded one way or the other. If you need to repeat the presentation, right? That's fine. Repeat it however many times you need to as a team until you're happy with your team performance. So again. Make sure that you name the public, uh, I'm sorry, the Mexican holiday. Number two, present a three to four minute introduction of the Mexican holiday. Number three, present the three questions and the key vocabulary words. Okay, that's what I would include in your final presentation. We're going to work on this today in class. And again, make sure that you follow the instructions that are included in this video. If you need to watch the video again to check what, uh, what was uh, mentioned, go right ahead. Make sure that you discuss with your team at, from the very beginning to make sure that all of you understand the instructions. Of course, I'll be online in today's class if you guys have additional questions, but I would ask first that you watch this entire video to try to get uh, the, uh, the instructions for today's activity.